Greetings YouTube subscribers and welcome back. I know I said I was probably not going to do another video or a vlog of replacing the inner fender liners on the front of the Xterra and uh, said probably not anything related to the heat shields but since I did the mini series uh, I'm gonna put this in there especially this heat shield material because um, I don't care who you are uh, that truck that age trying to get those heat shields off of the manifolds is um, I don't know ridiculous uh, the three bolts snap I mean I had probably out of the six I think five of them snapped and then trying to get that heat shield out you basically just destroy it so it was always my intention to just pull that out replace it with some kind of material like this uh, or the gold foil wrap but um, um, this is better because of the actual uh, insulation blanket that's on there it's rated for like 2200 degrees or something ridiculous and um, also that uh, gold wrap foil is not really meant to be put exactly onto the exhaust pipe or the manifold it's more of uh, like external stuff just to reflect the heat back so uh, I'm gonna get some templates and then cut this out and since I have to basically jack up the front of the truck and pull those uh, old fender liners out anyway I figured you know why not do another video on that and uh, you know hopefully it'll help somebody I'll put a link in description where I got this it was uh, online I believe Amazon I don't remember the cost right offhand but it was about 25 bucks or so and again this is a half inch blanketed uh, material up to really believe it's like 2200 degrees something really really high so uh, should be good out here in the heat and uh, we'll see how it works out so uh, <laughs> I'm I'm highly unmotivated today just because of the weather but um, at least it's not as hot as it's been so let's just get this done stay tuned so as I showed you in a previous video uh, these are the new liners that I got and again they were only like 25 bucks a piece 54 bucks total and uh, shipping was free oversized so great deal uh, they're way more flexible than uh, the original Nissan ones and then um, I got the uh, that heat shield material is roughly one piece this big so I'm gonna cut it down into two sections um, once we get this uh, wheel off and we get the fender liner out um, I'm gonna start you know putting together our template and uh, then we'll just strap that on with uh, I've got some stainless steel zip ties and uh, we'll see how that turns out and uh, kind of go from there but um, I'll put a link in description on this uh, it was just Amazon but uh, again the place was like immediate shipping and um, price was great so uh, yeah in case anybody needs them which uh, you probably do once you start messing with that thing you realize how brittle it is uh, especially on Xterra since uh, they don't make them anymore yeah might want to swap yours out so uh, once you pull these um, four screws out take the mud flap off if you're running mud flaps uh, there's also four screws here in the front which just are uh, one two three four on the bottom um, this thing pretty much just pops right out because uh, um, there's a couple little retaining um, plugs but um, I broke those when they came off last time so uh, it's easy to put those back in after the fact uh, even when the wheel is on but um, yeah you just pop this from the top and uh, that whole liner just comes right out and I'll swap those clips over to the new one as you can see what I talked about this thing being so brittle before that uh, some of these clips wouldn't even stay on so um, we'll swap that out with these um, but in the meantime I just got to get this kind of out of the way for the moment and uh, start working on uh, getting that stuff covered back up again as you can recall from the other video when I was messing around with the catalytic converters which are right there um, and there's the O2 sensor uh, that is where that's a good shot right there um, that's where that other heat shield was and you can see the um, kind of the screw holes from where it was mounted here um, got the other one here and then there's one a little bit lower like I said I don't really know anybody 
that's been able to get those out unless you like really heat the pipe up and then those screws are going to come out but otherwise i mean it's fine i just really want to protect um the rubber and like any of the bushings um like this little rubber gasket from the steering column and uh rubber bushings up here on the a-frame you know on these a-arms uh the shocks you know just from the heat so we'll put that um reflective uh material we'll you know the heat shield wrap we'll put that on there facing it down kind of like what the other heat shields were and uh, then we'll put the liner back on get the wheel back on go do the other side so uh stay tuned well there's my template and there's my pattern so we're going to cut this out and we'll go get the uh, stainless steel zip ties and uh, get this side installed and then basically it should probably be exactly the same on the other side but we'll still make a template anyway just in case all right so that wasn't too bad uh, there's your finished product I didn't get too crazy on the zip ties. Uh, one, I only have 10 in this pack and uh, really don't need that many more for those to hold in place. I mean, it's not going anywhere. So, and this uh, material actually forms pretty well. I mean, you know, it uh, doesn't exactly wrap around the pipes the way you want it to because it's got half inch of that um, fiberglass, you know, padding. But uh, other than that, pretty good I think I'll fix this little corner up here and uh, now we'll get the fender liner back on go to the other side okay driver's side is done you can see it from there uh, didn't turn out too bad got this uh, fender liner already out uh, got all the clips transferred uh, of course on this I don't like something about the clips because they made these holes like way too adjustable so i'm gonna clamp those down before i put them in the other ones aren't so bad and these top ones kind of clip in fine but these other ones are terrible so uh this side a um, lot more lot more access um, as you can see i can get to pretty much everything right there so uh, passenger side wasn't as bad with the cats um, but still a real pain in the butt getting that out and uh, i don't know if you can tell but you know these still snapped off actually i think this side i might have two available but uh, i'm gonna do the same thing i'll wrap those um wrap it down over to here by the cat side you know just before the o2 sensor and that should protect uh, the bushings um any of these electrical wires the ball joints up here up top you know shocks so uh, keep all that heat on the inside where it belongs just like the old uh you know heat shields were so uh I'll let you know when I'm finished. I'm not going to say it's going to be a few minutes because <laughs> that jinxed me last time. But anyway, stay tuned. A few moments later. Well, I take that back. I did end up wrapping them anyway. Uh, and I think that's good enough. So we'll get the uh, inner fender liner back in, get the wheel back on, and I was going to change the oil today, but I don't know. Maybe I'll wait till next weekend. It's starting to get windy out. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helps uh, if you run into the same issue. Um, you know, again, I'll put a link in description for this material. I think it was about 20 bucks. Uh, good to 2,000, 2,400 degrees, so it's fine. I left uh, an open gap of about a half inch in the back side to keep the heat, so it's basically reflecting the heat. It's not a um, header or exhaust pipe wrap, you know, fully enclosed. It's made more as a heat shield, and again, um, in this application, I really don't recommend trying to use any adhesive material uh, unless you were going to put the adhesive like on the fender liner itself just to reflect uh, the heat back in towards the engine bay. But uh, other than that, I think uh, we'll consider this done. And uh, no issues with the new cats. Uh, I've put about, I don't know, 1,500, 2,000 miles since uh, they got replaced. Uh, no check engine light. 
Um, also, TPS sensors have been fine, so dash looks great uh, with no lights, no bangs, no nothing. So, very happy. Um, hopefully, it'll continue that way for the next uh, 222,000 miles, but we'll see. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, you know the rest. Later.